Om. Maybe your friend Joe or Susan has recently just suggested that you try the dancing mamba meditation or the smoothie cocktail meditation, mindful drinking. So those don't actually exist. But because there are so many different types of meditation out there, it can be tricky to know which is best for your situation. If you're a beginner, um, if you're more advanced, if you want to develop yourself spiritually, if you're just looking to relax in the evening, um, there are different types of meditation that will be best for you. So in today's video, we're just gonna be going over the top seven best meditation techniques and what they are each best for. The very first type of meditation that you might wanna look into, especially if you're a beginner and want to learn about meditation in general, is mindfulness meditation. Mindfulness meditation is all about non-judgmental observation. It's about observing what arises, what emotions arise, what physical sensations arise, what thoughts arise, and your job in mindful meditation is simply to observe it as best you can. The key here is to observe non-judgmentally, so not judging yourself for having strange or repetitive thoughts. Um, and your job is simply just to notice what thoughts arise. It's just noticing, observing, and allowing. And you might find that mindfulness is actually a really important skill to learn because it is the basis of so many other types of meditation, including the ones on this list. So the second type of meditation that we are going to be talking about today is loving kindness meditation, also known as metta meditation. And what makes this meditation so cool and awesome is that it's all about making yourself feel good inside, giving yourself that love that maybe you deprive yourself of. Metta meditation is about visualizing and affirming love to yourself and loved ones. So it's about visualizing people in your life and giving them love just in the space of your mind. And at the end of it, you will find that you feel more compassionate you feel lighter and happier. I personally think that metta meditation is a great meditation to do in the morning because it helps you set up a good mindset of kindness and love for the rest of your day. Number three is transcendental meditation. And transcendental meditation, it's a mouthful to say, is all about focusing your attention on one specific thing. Usually this is a sound or a mantra or just something you can hear in your environment. This can oftentimes take the form of a chant or an oming. Om. And your job in transcendental meditation is simply to notice and focus on that one sound. Now, it doesn't have to be something that you make yourself. It can be any sound in the environment. It can be uh, the sound of the birds chirping just focusing on the sounds of the birds chirping, or it could be focusing on the sound of your radiator hissing. It could literally be anything, as long as it is a continuous sound that you can focus on for the remainder of your meditation session. And by focusing on this one sound for long enough, you can get out of your thinking mind and get into the present moment to relax, release that stress and tension that you have stored inside, and just to become present. Number four is somatic meditation. Now somatic refers to the body. So this is any meditation that has a focus on the body. This is great for people who have trouble sleeping and need to relax at the end of a long day. There are actually a lot of great subtypes of somatic meditation. One of my favorites being body scan, which is just when you focus on one physical part of your body, I usually start at the top of my head, noticing any sensations, moving down, noticing any sensations on my forehead, noticing any sensations in my eyebrows, face, chest, stomach, all the way down. And you just scan slowly, noticing every little sensation along the way. Another great subtype of somatic meditation that pairs really well with body scanning is um, progressive relaxation or progressive muscle relaxation. And oftentimes at the end of your somatic meditation session, you will just feel so relaxed and calm and like all of this pent up energy and stress from the day is just released. And it's perfect for the nighttime because I often find that my meditation students get really sleepy after this one. Number five is Vipassana meditation. Now this meditation is specifically tailored toward spiritual seekers. Uh, usually in the Hindu and Buddhist traditions, they practice 
Vipassana meditation, which is essentially using mindful observation, uh, just like we learned about in the first type of meditation. They use that kind of mindful eye, that ob observational tool to come to higher truths about the universe, to have profound spiritual insights. Vipassana meditation is essentially just mindful observation with the intention of getting to a deeper spiritual place of having a insight towards the nature of reality and the universe. And this is a really great example of how just having a different intention with your meditation can completely change the outcome. Number six is yoga meditation or mindful yoga, which is essentially yoga. You know, everybody knows yoga. It's just moving your body, stretching in a specific way in yoga poses and postures, but doing so mindfully. Now, yoga meditation is different from somatic meditation because you are actively moving and being mindful of your movements and stretches and postures, whereas in somatic, you are mostly staying still and noticing your body sensations as you are sitting still. And I find that mindful yoga meditation is great for people who have trouble sitting still and focusing their mind for long periods of time like traditional meditation. Number seven on our list of best meditative practices is guided meditation. Guided meditation is seriously a huge, huge thing. It's a great tool to add to your meditation tool belt because it's really good for when you are not motivated. If you're somebody that wants to develop a meditation habit and one day you're just absolutely not feeling it, you just don't want to sit down and take 10 minutes and do nothing, you just want to watch TV or something, it's a great way to get that habit in for the day just by searching on YouTube, uh, guided meditation for irritability or something. There are literally limitless amounts of guided meditations on YouTube. The thing about meditation is that everyone is gonna have a different preference with the type of meditation that they use, that they want to practice. And if you don't know what meditation is gonna be best for you, I've made a quiz on my website. You can click the link down in the description to take the three question, really quick quiz, to determine what meditation is going to be best for you. So this has been the top seven best types of meditation. And I hope that you learned something and that you'll try these out and leave a comment uh, what I missed, if there's anything that you love, any kind of meditation. Thanks for listening. See you next time.